Yo guys, um, today we're going to be showcasing all the clans in game, like all the moves and the passives and shit like that. So, uh, yeah. The first move, <coughs> the first move is shark drill. Um, it's basically just a shark that sends you forward. Uh, it also like, it's a multi hit, so it's a pretty good move. Alright, this is the second move. It has um, a passive where if you headshot the user, it does double the damage from a normal body shot. So the move is really good. Alright, the first move is Sand Spikes, it's an AoE uh, move that comes out of the ground and it procs the uh, sand effect, um, which it just slows I'm pretty sure. The move uh, is pretty good, it does decent damage. The second move is Sand Ifbata, it's just a long line, same, same damage as the last one, same effect. Oh uh, yeah, it does go through block. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, see, the range is actually really good, it's just like for AoE in a long line. Alright, the first move for a rebate is Scorch Orbs. It's just like a move, you can M1 into it or combo into it, it's really good. The second move is Scorch Beam. Oh, does it not work? I might just be doing it wrong. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, percentage? Oh, yeah, it's just like a big zero. Yeah, that's really good, actually. Half a bar, yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah, a long, it has a super long hitbox. All 
right, now we're uh, showcasing the Rai Clan. I think it just has Lightning Cloak and Liger Bomb, but I might be wrong. All right. Do I need a... Oh, I'm lagging. All right, so it looks like it has a bit of a speed buff. And I know it has a damage buff. Yeah. And I'm assuming a defense buff. And this is Liger Bomb. Super good move. It ragdolls, and then you can use moves after it, you know, to further extend the damage. Uh, the next one we're going to be showcasing is Miyajima. This is what the Tushikage boss uses, so I'm assuming the moves are just like the boss moves. Alright, so this is the first move. It, that move is actually really good, it's just a stun move. Yeah, first move is a super good stun move. Uh, I think got to you got to be close range for that move. All right, let's see. Yeah, that uh I think you could like use a move into that one. That move doesn't look bad, but doesn't look too good. The first move is really good though. I Ah uh, yeah, you can't do that. I don't know if it's true though. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I don't think they could escape that. I'm pretty sure they're still ragdolled. Uh, that's not bad. Yuki clan. I've never actually seen somebody play the Yuki clan. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so this is the first move, uh, mana. Uh, 15 to 50. All right, this is the first move. It doesn't look bad, actually. It looks pretty good. And this is the second move. I don't know why I never see anybody using this clan. It looks really good. Here, I think the second move has some range to it. The mana move for the the mana used for the first move is fifty to sixty percent. And the second move is fifteen to fifty percent. Alright, uh, next clan is gonna be Huga, and then after that is Karatachi, and then from on, like after those, we're gonna do the rare clans, and then we're gonna do Otsutsuki.
Alright, the first move is... Oh, I think I need the eyes. So, the first move is palm rotation. Oh, also the eyes show chakra and HP, and I'm pretty, no, I don't think that one's seal actually. Uh, this is the second move. Oh, wow, that actually has a decent hitbox. Oh yeah, palm rotation gives eye frames when you use it. Yeah, but it gives iframes like in the show. Yeah, the move does give iframes. So yeah, it's super good if you're getting comboed and then you just like wanna pop it mid fight. All right, and then after this, we're going on to the rare clans. I, the first move is Lava Pillar, or I think it's, no, nah, Lava Media is the first move. Oh, it damages you, oh, that's pretty weird. But uh, yeah, it's just a big meter that comes out of the sky, pretty mid. This, the second move, though, is really good. This is a combo starter that they can, like, you can use while they're ragdolled. It also procs burn damage, same with the first move. It does a good amount of damage. Yeah, the clan moves are actually really good. Alright, the next clan is Senju. Alright. Senju clan. Um This is Wood Spear. This is the first move. You just throw a spear at the ground and if they stay in the big circle by the time it explodes, it ragdolls it ragdolls them and damages them. Piercing wood is the second move. That's a super good move. It's full AoE and stuns them. Does half a bar as well. Really good move. Then the second move, well, last move. Oh, this move is super good. It's a stun move. You know, it's just a free stun, AOE stun. So it can hit multiple people. Yeah, Verdian from Rogue. And uh, yeah, it's just a super good move. Can't be blocked. Oh, can be blocked. Oh.
Alright, the next clan is going to be Uzumaki. Um, this clan is actually really good. It comes with an Awakening. Then it has some other moves. Oh, and I guess it just has one other move. Oh, and I don't have Chain of Fate. Oh, uh, yeah, now I do. Alright, the first move is Binding Chains. Hit it, and then when they get back up, you can hit it again. So, it's just a super good move. Uh, does a lot of damage, does like a full bar. Can't, you can block the startup like the first hit, but you can't block the second. Yeah, it's a guard break, so it's a super good move. It does a lot of damage as well. Alright, Chain of Fate. This move seals their chakra. It seals their chakra and it stuns them. Yeah, unavoidable cancels chakra. Really good move. Yeah, super good move. Alright, the second move is just like an awakening. You can pop it you can pop it while you can pop it while knocked or up. It's just a um, awakening that you get. It gives you a full bar back. Pretty good clan. I think it's one of the best clans in the game. But yeah, just a super well-rounded clan. Alright, Uchiha, Uchiha clan, um, it's really good, you get the Sharingan that comes with passives, uh, he sent me three Tomoe for the video, so the first move is Genjutsu, it just stuns them, pretty easy to hit, you know, they just gotta be looking at you like in the show, this is Susano arm, this one, it ragdolls them, you know, you grab them and throw them, for the left click and then the right click I know it has a different effect oh yeah it's just a smash super good and then when you mana shield with the clan I don't have any I don't have any things to block but when you mana shield with the clan it gives you ribcage The only negative part about this clan is Sharingan drains a decent amount of chakra. What? Alright. I will. Alright, the last clan. In my opinion, one of the best clans in the game. Alright, so, you got... Go check. Alright. So, you need 90 to 100% mana to turn on the move. And to shoot the orbs, you need 10 to 45%. So 
the orbs do decent damage. It's like 10 to 15. Hold up. Damage indicators, look. Just shoot them at people. You have 12 damage. Pretty good. In my opinion, the best move on the entire kit, one of the best climb moves in the game, is Axe Quake. The move is a super good stun, super good combo starter or extender. And then the last move, last move is Destruction Cube. Super good move as well. Super good stun. Big AoE. Does a lot of damage. I think it does like 30. Yeah, something like that. Oh, he's gonna showcase the clan because he knows how to play more than me. Yeah, see, you can combo extend with the clan. But, uh, yeah, clan is just super good. Alright, I think the showcase is done.